Welcome to this, the second video in the Ranarek Studio Ranarek Spy series, The Path Editor. To access the Path Editor in Ranarek Spy as a standalone application, simply select a UI element in the browser tree. The Path Editor link appears. Once clicked, you will see the Path Editor view with the selected UI element in the Tree View section. We are able to open the path editor from within Ranarek Studio. Simply select the UI element and click the Edit in Spy button. For Spy to function, the application under test must be open. If not, you will receive the warning, element could not be found. To overcome this, simply open the application and click Refresh. Now the element has been found. The Path Editor working environment consists of four basic areas and one important status message. We have the track button and the Ranarex path information. The track button is used to track, identify and add new UI elements, whereas the Ranarex path edit line displays their unique specification and is used for editing the Ranarex path. We can switch between UI Element Tree Browser and the Path Editor. The Tree View section displays the components of the Ranarex Path specification in a tree like structure. The Attribute Comparison section is a list of available UI Element attributes and their values, with the option to select attributes to change the Ranarex Path specification accordingly. The current UI Element identification status informs if and how many UI elements are identified by the current Runner X path specification. The main application of the path editor is to edit the Runner X path specification of UI elements or element. The upper yellow input line represents the edit line of the path editor. Here, editing the Runner X path specification is possible. The smaller, lower path line displays the currently applied Ranarex path specification. If open from Ranarex Studio, this line displays the currently valid Ranarex path specification of the corresponding repository item. If you write a Ranarex path specification and you need help, press Ctrl and Space together. A drop down list opens with semantically possible Ranarex path syntax paths for your selection. To highlight a UI element, the application under test must be open. Click the highlight button and the UI element is then highlighted in red. You can select or deselect elements by using the check boxes. Here we deselect the container. When we reselect, Ranarex does not detect its initial adapter type and value. And we would have to track the item once again. Any tree element can be specified directly within the tree view section. To do so, we select the UI element and use the context menu. Optional means that Ranarex tries to specify the element or elements of the Ranarex path, independent from their relation to the optional tree element. Axis will define the UI element by its relationship to other tree elements. Many options are available node type will assign a specific adapter type from the possible options. In the next video, in the Ranarex Studio, Ranarex Spy series, we will be looking at snapshot files.